we're gonna try circuit bending, which, uh, full disclosure, I've never done before, but. Did I kill it? I smell some burning. Let's just see if it turns back on. Nope. How hard can it be? Hey, Zach. Hey, Steve. Are we filming? We're filming. Okay, great. Our plan today is to uh, go on a circuit bending adventure, which includes uh, trying to find some electronics for free or for cheap. So we were planning on driving Zach's new ride, which is a sweet to 66 Ford Mustang, but it looks like the uh, <laughs> the lights were left on. So the, uh, the batteries drained. So first we're going to uh, jump the battery and then we're gonna get going all right zach do you remember the order there's an order positive to yeah. positive uh sad cable to ground positive. yeah yeah you start with positive dead so that's your car your car's dead right i'm pretty sure it's positive dead should we be looking this up All right, we're greened up and ready to go. Let's go. So we're we gonna try out the zero to sixty on this thing, or? Yeah, why not? Um, I know why not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see what you mean by the break. There we go. <laughs> we are on the hunt for garbage. Any kind of electronics, preferably like a musical type instrument, but if we can find like an alarm clock, we could maybe attach an alarm clock to a keyboard or something and do something interesting with it. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna pretend like it's my car. Yeah, that's right, that's my car. It's my car, baby. Let's see, is there garbage? This is my old school, W. Erskine Johnson. Is this guy just going? <laughs> no, I go. Just because you have like um, lights on top of your vehicle doesn't mean you just get to disobey the law. Or maybe you do. I guess the garbage people do all the garbage early. Yeah, what the hell is this good infrastructure business? Mm -hmm. All right, let's take it nice and easy. Let's be overly cautious. Okay, whoa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Boss destroying employee's car is not a good luck. I mean, it'd be a little weird if they said you can't film in here because we are on camera, like we're on tons of cameras right now. Okay, our first, our first piece of electronics is an aquarium. Ooh, those have view meters. That would be pretty sweet. 15 bucks. Oh, old school joystick. Could we put that to use? Oh, guitar Hero guitar. There's no actual real musical equipment yet. True optical. No. This is, these are night, night vision goggles. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, that's sweet. And that's all sports stuff. It's kind of slim pickings here. I mean, what we could do, I have um, some keyboards. We could just use those. <laughs> So we were just inside of Valley Village. They didn't have any keyboards or anything. So we are gonna go to the Sal Salvation Army near my house, which means we're gonna have to go on the big roads, <laughs> which is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, let's get me up to, okay, we'll get up to 50 miles per hour, or maybe we won't. <laughs> That's very cool. 30 bucks. Whoa. It's not looking, not looking great though. I mean, that whole setup is pretty freaking sweet. But I think we're out of luck for in terms of yeah. music. When you have kids, you realize how much you hate VTech. <laughs> That's pretty cool, whatever this is. I guess it's just a humidifier. We're just gonna have to grab those keyboards from my house. So we're back at the office with our two keyboards. Um, I wish we could have found some keyboards at a thrift store, but we couldn't. So we're just gonna have to destroy um, one of mine. We'll destroy, we'll turn into a new instrument, turn one of mine into a new instrument, because that's what we're doing. We're gonna try circuit bending, which uh, full disclosure, I've never done before, but I've seen it done and it looks really cool. And how hard can it be? I mean, all you do is uh, you use wires to connect, I guess you probably want, yeah, you use wires to connect different places on a circuit and it's gonna do random things, probably a lot of the time. Hopefully it doesn't break the thing, but uh, it's gonna do interesting things hopefully, and if you find an interesting thing, then you turn that into a switch. 
And sometimes I guess you don't want to just like connect to parts of the circuit, you want to connect them through a resistor. So I should probably get some resistors. I really like this keyboard, especially like the, the drum kit on it, it's friggin' sweet. So I might, and we might have to use the, uh, the SA35. So let's see, first we'll get some sounds. Positive tip. Okay, I got some, let's, let's go get a positive thing. There's Nick running away. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was a fun adventure. That was fun. Or oh, we should close. We don't need to see what we're working on here. It's, it's all top secret stuff. Okay, it says DC 7.5 volts. I'm pretty sure it can take the heat. This might be a short lived video if it can't take the heat. Oh, Edge. No thanks, Edge. We don't need you. I love how Edge, when you're, when you're changing the default to uh, Chrome, it's like, are you sure? Like, Edge is pretty cool, right? Yeah, it can take the heat, at least for now. And Okay, which one has a better piano sound? Okay, that's the piano. Nice and noisy. It's gotta be like 12, 12 bits or something. And then this one, zero. <laughs> they start off with an accordion. <laughs> that's appropriate. All right. Oh man. One's, I would say the Yamaha is getting its ass kicked right now. Like this sounds way better. What is this? Yamaha. <laughs> Who has the better harpsichord? Okay, this guy doesn't... Oh, harpsichord, okay. That's supposed to be a harpsichord? That doesn't sound right. Oh, it's getting its ass kicked now. Yeah, this is their harpsichord. And this is Yamaha's harpsichord. Yeah, okay, Casio loses at the harpsichord. Okay, so we're gonna save this guy. Oh yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't need the positive chip. Okay, that's sweet, so we can just have it plugged in while we're going to town on this thing. First, let's just check out the songs. stops and then keeps it that's interesting um so i think the idea is we open this thing up oh well, this is going to take a little while and this is probably not the right size all right so zach has uh taken the top off or the bottom off of the um the keyboard and we found there's really not that much to this keyboard most of the magic happens inside of this chip i think but I, we could look these chips up but maybe it's kind of fun if we don't. I'm taking off the, um, the battery wires so that we can take the top right off completely. There we go. Put that on its side on the wooden table. That's a smart idea. So the idea is that we just have this thing plugged in and we, we touch two points together and see what it sounds like. I'm just hitting the buttons. <laughs> okay. okay. It's probably reducing the productivity of the whole office. What color do you want to use? Uh, yellow. Yellow. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Maybe I should just solder it because it's going to be hard to like hold things in place. Right. So it's not making sound. Oh, you know what I could do though? Actually, you know what I'll do is I'll put the song on Ooh. and turn it down. <laughs> That's the lowest it goes. <laughs> People are not going to be happy with me. Let's see. I'm turning it on and off, I think. That's not really that helpful. There's already a button for turning it on and off. It's not very cool. I guess I should probably figure out like what the ground is and what the power is so I don't short it out, but I imagine it won't die if I short it. That would be shorting it. <laughs> <laughs> and potentially killing it. Let's see. Okay, it's back. I should have known. Okay, so this is like a, that's a standard chip, you know, and this is the, uh, the power probably, and that's the ground there, and that's exactly what I shorted. <laughs> so that's not a smart idea. Maybe we should pick a different song. Ooh, a lesson. Okay. Well, that's why it's, it's a lesson. Well, that's a cool sound. Just noise. Did I kill it? Killed it. We gotta get one, okay, we just gotta get one cool thing happening here. 
That's cool. What's that? I mean, it's not the most useful thing. Circuit bin. Yeah. I picture this being a little cooler. <laughs> it turns out it's, it matters where you hook things up. Let's just see if it turns back on. Nope. The good thing is when you restart it, it works again. Okay, I'll try these discrete components. So right now I'm, I'm gonna short all the resistors. So it's basically turning the resistor into a, a zero ohm resistor. Uh, turn down the volume, that's not interesting. Okay, that just stopped it. Surprisingly, Casio makes some resilient we should do this one with an Empress product and see if it, <laughs> yeah. uh, see if it can withstand this brutal treatment. I think these diodes are probably have something to do with the keyboard, so they're not really gonna do anything. I don't know what these guys are. Okay, these are inductors. Ooh. Oh. Okay, but again, that's just speeding it up. That's interesting. I only touched the one side, but I guess maybe. I'm acting as a capacitor. That's interesting. Okay, let's just try that again. Because, you know, you just connect one side to something, then it's not really creating any circuit. But uh, as a human, I'm, I'm also acting as like a big capacitor. So, um, maybe that's what's doing it. So I take the one side, I, I touch it to the inductor, and it's Ooh, I heard something cool there. Yeah, and then once I touch this side, turn, like, you know, that's when I connect myself, the capacitor, to the inductor. That's when it gets all screwy. Are you smelling anything weird? I smell some burning. Oh, that was cool, whatever that was. Maybe it's because I'm using two, maybe you should be going through a, um, a resistor, oh. not, because I mean, we're being kind of, we're being pretty brutal. We're just like <laughs> shorting things together. But if we um, connected things through like a, a one ohm, or sorry, not one ohm, like a hundred ohms, or maybe a, a thousand ohms, that might be a little, work a little better. So cool. I think we might have some resistors. Ivan might have some resistors. You know, I don't think there's a button that actually does what I, I did. Okay. I think we put it into the secret mode that Casio doesn't want you to know about.